Yeah, I think it, this is a really exciting time in space exploration, and we're really hitting an exponential growth and expansion. Um, so I think 20 years ago, it would have been easy to project five years. I will tell you honestly right now, I don't know what the next five years hold. Um, there are so many new companies, new countries, new partnerships, and new programs coming into play uh, that it is an absolutely um, interesting time in space exploration. Um, and you ask why why we explore space, and I, I honestly think that that's a different answer for each of us. Uh, we as a society explore space because as societies we always ask what's next, what's around the next corner. You know, if we go back hundreds of years, thousands of years, people said what's across this land, what's on the other side of this ocean. And then when we, we kind of filled in, we figured out our earth a little bit, we said okay, how do we take to flight? How do we go higher in flight? And the next logical place is, is what else is out there. And humans have always had that propensity to explore. So maybe why we explore is because you're one of those explorers that deep down in your heart feels a passion and, and wonders what else is out there. Maybe you are an engineer and you are fascinated by the technology that it's going to take to get there. Maybe you're an artist or a storyteller and you're fascinated by the human condition and being able to be part of something like that. And I think for each of us, why we're part of this is different. And I think uh, another important question would be what type of society we would be if we didn't explore. And I don't think that's a society any of us would want to be with so, or be in. So yeah, I think point. over the next five years, I'm, I'm really thrilled yeah, and very point. lucky to be part of this.